So next question is question number 39. What is the mass of the precipitate formed when 50 milliliter of 16.9% solution of EGNO3 is mixed with 50 milliliter of 5.8% NaCl solution? Four options are given and atomic masses of elements are given. This question is based on stoichiometry. It means it is based on chemical reaction. NaCl reacts with EGNO3. Product is EGCl plus NaNO3. According to balance chemical equation, 1 mole NaCl reacts with 1 mole EGNO3 and product or precipitate will be 1 mole EGCl. Now let us see the given quantity of NaCl and EGNO3. 50 milliliter of 16.9% solution of EGNO3. So information is given. If we are taking 100 milliliter solution, it will contain 16.9 gram AgNO3. For this reaction, 50 milliliter of solution is taken. So 50 milliliter of solution, it means the quantity of AgNO3 present will be half. This much of quantity will be present. Now we will convert this into number of moles. So this is 16.9 by 2 mass divided by molecular mass which is 169. So this is coming out 0 0.05 mole. Similarly we will apply for any CL solution. The information is given 5.8% NaCl solution. So 100 milliliter of solution is containing 5.8 gram NaCl. We are taking only 50 milliliter. So 50 milliliter of solution will contain 5.8 by 2 gram NaCl. Convert this into number of moles by 2 divided by molecular mass of NaCl 58.5. This is again coming out 0 0.05 mole. So in this question it is given that 0 0.05 mole EgNO3 reacts with 0 0.05 mole NaCl. It means the product obtained will be 0 0.05 mole AgCl and mass of 0 0.05 mole will be equal to 0 0.05 into molecular mass which is 143.5 so this is coming around 7.1 gram. Now let us see the option. First option 7 grams, second 14, third 28, fourth 3.5. So first option is the correct option. It means answer of this question should be the first option. So next question is question number 40. The oxidation of benzene by vanadium pentoxide in the presence of air produces first option benzoic acid, second option benzaldehyde, third option benzoic anhydride and fourth option is maleic anhydride. This is a fact based question. However, benzene is a stable liquid but when oxidized in different condition then different products are obtained. Suppose benzene is oxidized by chromium oxide, then product will be benzaldehyde. If benzene is oxidized by KMnO4, no reaction will take place. If benzene is oxidized by air in presence of catalyst vanadium pentaoxide, then reaction product is malic anhydride. Malic anhydride.
such type of compound is obtained. So according to the reaction, the fourth option should be the correct one. Fourth option is correct answer. Moving to the next question, question number 41. Which of the following is not the product of dehydration of given alcohol? Four options are given and a structure of four unsaturated compounds are given. In order to find the correct answer, we have to apply the reaction mechanism. This is the structure of given alcohol which is tertiary alcohol. First step of mechanism will be the formation of carbocation. So in this case, tertiary carbocation will be formed. And next step is the loss of beta hydrogen atom. Beta hydrogen atom is present at this position. Beta hydrogen atom is present at this position. Beta hydrogen atom is present at this position. Suppose this beta hydrogen atom is lost. Then carbon-carbon double bond will form at this position. And such type of compound will be obtained. Second possibility, if beta hydrogen atom is lost from this position. Then a double bond introduced at this place. Third possibility, if beta hydrogen atom is lost from this position. then a double bond will form at this position. Now let us see the option. The first option is having such type of a structure. So this compound is possible. Second option is this one. This is also a possible product. Third option is this one. This is also a possible product. So fourth option is the answer of the question. Fourth option is the correct answer of question. Next question is question number 42. Method by which aniline cannot be prepared is aniline it means primary amine. Now first option reduction of nitrobenzene with hydrogen palladium in ethanol. Nitrobenzene can be reduced to aniline. So this method can be used for the preparation of aniline. Second option is potassium salt of thalamide treated with chlorobenzene followed by hydrolysis with aqueous NaOH solution. This is thalamide reaction. In thalamide reaction, reaction proceed via SN2 mechanism. Reactant taken is chlorobenzene. Chlorobenzene cannot participate in nucleophilic substitution reaction. So this method cannot be used for the preparation of aniline. So this should be the answer. Let us check the other options also. The third one is hydrolysis of phenyl isocyanide. All alkyl and aryl isocyanide produces primary amine. So this method can be used. Fourth is degradation of benzamide. Benzamide with bromine in alkaline solution. This is bromamide degradation reaction. And since benzamide is a primary amide, it means this reaction can be used for the preparation of aniline. So correct answer is second one. Second option is the correct answer of question. 